This is the hardware that is provided by Daikin for the commissioning and use of the iTab controller. It includes the iTab controller, an Asus router and an Asus tablet. These are the parts included in the iTab controller box, a CPU model, an I.O. module and a WAGO power supply unit. This is the Asus router. You need it if you don't have an internet connection and want to connect to the DCS cloud or if you want to create a local network and connect to it using the tablet. This is the recommended Asus tablet. You need it if you want to have a standalone local connection to the iTab controller. Install the DIN rail and mount the WAGO power supply and the iTab controller modules to it. Connect the CPU and the I.O. module with the USB cable. Connect the wiring for the WAGO power supply module. Connect the F1, F2 communication wiring and the LAN cable. Connect the LAN cable to the PC laptop from which you'll do the commissioning. Don't forget to turn on the data backup battery of the CPU module. Open the outdoor unit to get access to its PCB. Press the mode button for 5 seconds. As a result, the PCB displays 2.00. This indicates that you are in mode 2. To set the outdoor unit address, press set 13 times. Then press return to enter parameter 13. To set the outdoor unit Airnet address, press the set button. Press return to confirm, then press return again to save the settings. Then press mode to exit the mode 2. From the BRC1H home screen, press the O button and keep it pressed until you enter the information screen. From there, press the minus button and the O button simultaneously and keep them pressed until you enter the advanced settings menu. Use the plus button to navigate to the group address menu. And enter it by pressing the O button. Set group addresses by following the steps. Don't forget to note down the addresses as you will need them later. Set Airnet addresses by following the steps. Don't forget to note down the addresses as you will need them later. When you're done, return to the BRC1H home screen. Set group addresses by following the steps. Don't forget to note down the addresses as you'll need them later. Set Airnet addresses by following the steps. Don't forget to note down the addresses as you will need them later.
When you're done, return to the BRC1E home screen. Go to the Daikin Business Portal. Search for DCC 601A51. Download the latest version of the Version Up tool and the Commissioning tool. Open the control panel and click Network and Sharing Center. Then click Adapter Settings, Ethernet, Properties, Internet Protocol version 4, and again Properties. For the PC to be in the same network as the ITAB controller CPU, fill in the static IP address. Open the version up tool exe file. Accept the terms of use. In the next window, enter Daikin as a password and click OK. Then click Execute and wait for the upgrade to be completed. When the version upgrade is complete, click OK. Open the commissioning tool exe file and select Local Commissioning. Enter Daikin as a password and click Login. Select the right time zone and click OK. Set the date and time. And click OK. If applicable for your region, set the daylight saving time and click OK. Select Function Mode, Standalone Mode, and change the authentication code. The controller will reboot. Close the Commissioning Tool window. Open the Commissioning Tool exe file again and select Local Commissioning. Enter Daikin as a password and click Login. In the bottom left of the window, select Menu List. Then select Service Settings. Select Management Point Data Register. Select AC Auto Register. And add all the indoor units that appear in the search result list. To reboot the main unit, click OK and then Yes in the pop-up window. Wait for the reboot and close the window. Open the Commissioning Tool exe file again and select Local Commissioning. Enter Daikin as a password and click Login. Wait for the connected units to load. Select Menu List and then Network. At the IP address, click Modify. Update the IP address and click OK. Confirm that all network settings are OK and click OK. Confirm the reboot by clicking Yes and close the window. Go to Google Play, search for Intelligent Tablet Controller and install the app.
Open the app and accept the terms of use. Enter the IP address of the controller. Click Modify and enter the authentication code that you set during the local commissioning. Click OK. In the main screen, you can see all your commissioned indoor units. You can control them with the app. Connect the LAN cable of the CPU module to the A value screen. As a result, the iTab controller application will launch. Open the commissioning tool EXE file again. Update the IP address and select Local Commissioning. Enter DIKIN as a password and click Login. Select Menu List. Then select Service Settings and then Function Mode. Select Cloud Connected Mode and confirm the reboot by clicking Yes. Open your browser and go to cloud.dykineurope.com. Fill in your email address and password. Select your preferred language and click Login. Read the terms of use. Tick I agree with the terms and click Accept. In the menu on the left, go to Building Administration, Site List, then click the Create Site button. Fill in the required data and click Save. The commissioning tool displays new site created and you will receive a controller LC number. Note down this number. Open the commissioning tool EXE file again and select Net Commissioning. Enter DIKIN as a password and click Login. Click Information Setup. Fill in the controller LC number that you received when you created the site on cloud.dykineurope.com. Select the AC input voltage. Click OK and then Yes in the pop-up window. Click Address Check and then click the Play button. After a few minutes, you will have the outdoor and indoor units in your list. Select the Refrigerant Circuit AN address and confirm that all connected units are displayed. After that, press the Stop button and Close. Select Port Setup. Select the first outdoor unit and click Outdoor Units. Then select the model name of this outdoor unit. Fill in the serial number. Click Apply and then OK. Follow the same steps for all other outdoor units. Select the first indoor unit and then click Indoor Units. Select the model name of each indoor unit. Fill in the serial number and installation location. Click Apply. Follow the same steps for all indoor units. When you're finished setting indoor unit details, click OK. When the outdoor and indoor unit setup is complete, click OK. Click Commissioning. After receiving the message saying that communication is complete, click Close. Log in with your credentials to cloud.dykineurope.com. Under Monitoring and Control, Equipment List, you should be able to see all your commissioned indoor units. To see if the commissioning was successful, turn one of the indoor units off and on again.